and it's Alyssa. So today we'll be doing my makeup tutorial. So I'll be starting off with a primer by Pony Effect. This primer goes on your skin very smoothly so I'll just be applying this to my entire face. I also like to let you know that before I apply my makeup, I had already done my skincare. So my face is clean and it's already prepped with the skincare. Next I'll be going in with my BB cream and this one is from Hanyo and it also has sunscreen in it so it has SPF 50 plus and PA plus 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 and I'm just gonna put a pump on my hand and I'm gonna start with my under eyes. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit underneath my under eyes and apply it and it's very important to pat in the product as well and just be very gentle underneath your eyes because it's very delicate. What I like about this BB cream is that it has pearl powder in it so it naturally gives your face a natural glow and it's very moisturizing so that's what I like about BB creams. Um, when you apply it, it's a little bit more sheer, it's a little thinner than applying a regular foundation and BB cream tends to have um, skincare properties in it which I like. So like I mentioned, it already has um, SPF in it and so I can eliminate one step of applying sunscreen before I apply my makeup. Next, I like to use this air puff, and what I like to do is just dab in the product further into your skin. This way, you can be sure that you don't have any product just sitting on the top layer of your skin, so this way it can be absorbed more. So next I'll be adding eyelid primer to my eyelids. This one is by Morphe and it is a translucent eyelid primer. Now on to the eyebrows. So I have two eyebrow pencils, both by Anastasia. One is a brow definer and the other one is a more precise liner and both are in the shade soft brown. I don't know about you, but doing my brows is probably my least favorite. It takes so long because I want to be precise as much as possible and there's always that one brow that is more difficult than the other and it is my left eyebrow that is more difficult. So as you can see in this video, it takes me quite a long time to do my eyebrows. Um, so I'm just starting off with the brow definer. It's the thicker eyebrow pencil and I'm just trying to lightly line the top of my eyebrows so that it has some shape and then Underneath, I like to use the brow definer, so it is the skinnier pencil to shade in the bottom. And then now with the brow definer again, I go in from the inside of my eyebrow to give it some shape. And then again with the more precise pencil, give it some color underneath. And now I'm just going back, checking the rest of my eyebrow, making sure it's the way that I like it to be and then I brush through it with the spoolie
Now I'm just repeating the same process on my right eyebrow. And this eyebrow is a little bit more easier. This is my good side. Um, so it's easier to shape and I don't know. It's just the better eyebrow. So it's a lot faster for me on this one. I like doing my eyebrows before I start doing any eyeshadows and eyeliners and the rest of my face because my eyebrow seriously shapes my face and without eyebrows I think I look sick. <laughs> so once I have my eyebrows it kind of gives me a template of what the rest of my makeup will be like. And starting off with the first eyeshadow, this one is by Tony Moly in the shade number 4 and it's in brown. And what I like about this eyeshadow is that it has dark brown and light brown little shimmers and I like to apply it with my finger all over my eyelid. It applies very smoothly and I've been using this eyeshadow for a very long time. I want to say at least five to seven years. And now I'm going to go with another shimmery eyeshadow. This one is by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Amber Gold. And this eyeshadow is super creamy, so a little goes a long way. And again, I'm going to apply it with my finger onto my eyelid. It has a lot of gold shimmers. I really like shimmers for eyeshadows. Now I'm going to go in with the Body Shop Coconut Bronze Glistening Glow Powder. And there's two shades in this. One is a dark brown shimmery color and a lighter shimmery color. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe R37 Fluffy Brush and in the eye socket with that bronze color just blend out all the shadows that we have used before and now with the lighter shimmery color I'm going to use a flat brush and pop that right onto my brow bone It kind of acts like a highlighter on my brow bone. And now with my Charlotte Tilbury palette, this one is in Dulce Vita. I'm going to use the shade Pop, which is a shimmery bronze color, and just pop that onto the entire eyelid. I love this color. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to use two shades, the shade Wonder and the shade Wish. And I'm going to use those two shades with my Morphe R44 brush to line my eyes. So this is just for the upper eyelid. So I've been using eye shadow to line my eyelids as eyeliner because I do have eyelash extensions and I just find that it's easier to apply with eyeshadow and also when removing my makeup it's a lot easier to remove the eyeshadow versus regular eyeliner with the eyelash extensions. And when I line my eyes, I do go a little bit past my eyes, so I do have a slight cat eye look. Now I'm going to use the shade Magic. It's a dark brown shimmery shade, and I'm just going to pop that onto the centers of my eyelids. Now I'm going back in with my Morphe R37 Pluppy Brush just to blend in all the eyeshadows together. And with a clean spoolie, I'm going to brush through my eyelash extensions. Now 
Now I'm going to use the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade 03 Hooked on Espresso and line both of my lower waterline and lash line. I've been using this pencil for a very long time, um, one of my favorites for eyeliners. And with the tissue, I'm just cleaning out the excess shimmery shadows. Now I'm going to use the color Pop from my Charlotte Tilbury Dulce Vita palette and just add that to the lash line on top of the eyeliner. So it kind of gives that smoky effect. And I'm also going to use the shade Smoke to use on top of that. And I also like to add that I'm using a smudge brush to apply those shadows on the lower lash line. Now I'm applying some translucent powder. Um, this one is from Morphe and this is the Bake and Set Setting Powder in Translucent. And I'm just going to apply this with a large fluffy brush all over my face. This brush is the Morphe M107 brush. Now it's time for blush. This is the Lancome Blush Subtle Shimmer in the shade 108 Shimmer Coral Kiss. So I'm just going to add this all over my cheeks to give my face some color and I'm applying this with my Morphe M105 brush. Now it's time for bronzer. I'm using this Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronzer. Um, sorry, I'm not too sure what the shade is, but uh, I'm just going to apply this all over my cheekbones on both sides and um, I'm just using an angle brush to apply this and I'm also going to add this on the jawline and on my hairline bronzer does wonders it kind of chisels your face and just adds a little bit more color now it's time for highlighter and I'm using my Morphe M310 brush to apply my Hourglass highlighter. So I'm just gonna add this to the top of my cheekbones, a little bit on my chin, my cupid's bowl, and on the bridge of my nose. And finally for the lips, I'm going to apply my YSL Matte Stain, and this is in the shade number five. So I'm just gonna dot it all over my lips and use my finger to blend it out. And I'm just going to remove the excess lip color with a tissue. Now I'm going to use the MAC lip pencil in the shade Soar and line my lips. And now I'm going to use the Body Shop makeup setting spray and spritz my entire face. And that's the end of my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like this and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!